<laughs> yes. Uh, hopefully the bosses are listening to that. That would be a tough trip to um, ever come back from. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll we may just, just be Fiji there. newscasters at that point. In the name of journalism, we yes. must go to Fiji. That's what we <laughs> have. See? Yes. Uh, we've got rain coming, guys. Uh, election day all day. Yeah. Rain Ooh, on the way. Look at that fancy new monitor, by the way. I know. Right How there. beautiful is this, yeah. right? I love it. Uh, this is giving us a good picture live outside from Mount Soledad. A little bit of a wet start to the morning. We also have a new camera camera out there that is beautiful, giving us these live shots. So once the sun does come up, it will be a cloudy start to the day out there. Few light sprinkles that we have already. We're going to be seeing that by the afternoon, a little bit of the sun could be peeking through, uh, all setting the stage for late tonight when showers could start up. So take a look hour by hour. We're favoring a dense layer of clouds out there. Temperatures are barely going to be warming much from where we are right now. We're hoping to get to the mid 60s by the afternoon. That's what we're at least going for. So you can see how mid 60s are in the forecast moving through uh, 11 a.m. all the way through about 3 p.m. As far as how much rain we could see, well, I'll pause this first off at 9:30 a.m. tomorrow. You can see how already before the main wet weather event really takes place, we're going to have enough rain on the ground to accumulate to maybe even four tenths of an inch in Oceanside in Fallbrook. For most areas south of North County, we're going to be picking up on just maybe a tenth of an inch. For today, starting off the morning, maybe some wet roads out there, a light drizzle, but it is relatively light. But I fast forward all the way through. To Tuesday and head into Wednesday for you to give you these totals. This is where the bulk of activity is going to be taking place. Tuesday morning to Wednesday morning is really where the majority of that rain is going to be coming down on us at times heavy. For the most part, though, it'll be just kind of wave after wave. We'll get little breaks in between. You can see how much we're expecting. A good amount of the county can expect half an inch. Those are areas like Carlsbad, Poway, Ramota could come in with six tenths of an inch, El Cajon, eight tenths of an inch, San Diego, seven tenths. So all in all, between about half an inch and an inch is what we are favoring, and it all starts off with these light sprinkles that are taking place this morning. Pause this at about 730 PM starts to become a little bit more uniform tonight into early tomorrow, and then by early tomorrow for that morning commute. Take a look. That's where the bulk of activity is really going to start to move in. It'll come through in waves, so we'll see that first one pass through 1130 AM may get a little bit of a break along the coastline, and then a second wave arrives. This is just going to be wave after wave for us. Uh, not a strong chance of thunderstorms embedded in this. It's just going to be uh, round two rounds, three rounds of precipitation, and so each one will deliver us maybe a tenth of an inch, two tenths of an inch. Temperatures this afternoon are mostly in the 60s. We have those clouds that are joining us today. Not all that much precipitation expected this afternoon. It'll start up tomorrow morning and last through the day tomorrow. Tomorrow, of course, election day out there, so remember to get your vote in. You should have a mail-in ballot that you can always drop off at a polling place. You don't have to go in directly, but if you choose to, you can just remember to bring that jacket with you as you head to the polls. We'll see clearer skies on the trailing end of it and temperatures will start to recover as well. But Wednesday is the coolest day that we have ahead. That precipitation lasts through early Wednesday and then starts to taper off.